Oh hey, I'm Eric from E-Ticket Attractions, and this is my triumphant return to Europa Park. I'm here to check out Voltron. It's gonna be my first time on Voltron. Super excited about that. Uh, we're here, it's 8.20 in the morning, so we're gonna do rope drop. The park starts open at about 8.30, and then I think the rides and things open at nine. My friend Pablo has all of that completely under control. So um, I'm just gonna basically follow him around and film stuff. Anyways, I almost lost my voice from yesterday, so I don't even know how this is gonna turn out, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, so. Let's go. Okay, so I guess Vol uh, <laughs> Voltron, no. I guess Voltarium opens early because it's in the Berlin section. They get open until like 8.30, so we're gonna take advantage of the moment and go on a little flying theater action. Okay, Voltarium. Yeah, it's a flying theater. It's got lovely scenes of Europe. It's a nice thing to do when you're waiting for the rest of the park to open. Really relaxing for the, in the morning. And um, it's 8.45. We're heading to Italy to do the rope drop. Well, I forgot to say, our plan is that we're gonna go and try and get the virtual line ticket for Voltron at nine o'clock. That's when virtual line opens. So hopefully we can do that because we'd like to get virtual line for Voltron and then do rope drop on something else. Maybe Ken Ken Coaster. Sir, that was really fun and just as fun as I remember it. It's got like, you know, fun set pieces and whatever. And we we're saying that inside it's like kind of a little bit like corny looking, but the line and everything is so nicely done. And with the music that the, the combination of corny and really nice theming actually makes it kind of like irreverent and fun. So anyways, it's a super fun ride and yeah, it was a great time. It's um 910, so we're already on that. We're gonna go over to Poseidon now and get that out of the way. Great day, great start. Okay, change of plans. We saw that Silver Star had a 15 minute wait as we were walking by, so we're gonna do this real quick. Okay, so we just did 20 minutes waiting in line for Silver Star, and that was like totally the redemption ride. We're in the last row, uh, it didn't vibrate at all. They had pretty much the trims, they weren't turned off, but they had them way down, and we were flying. We had like so much airtime, it was so much fun. Um, so yeah, that was a, another, another great one. I was really, really happy with that. Might also be because it's really hot, but um, yeah, it was running really nicely. Yeah, and I totally forgot to talk about it, but uh, we just rode Poseidon. We waited about 30 minutes for it. Super fun, really refreshing. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a little out of sorts right now though, so this, this vlog might go haywire. Oh yeah, and also Voltron. It went down, so we had a, an express pass or whatever, a virtual line for 10.30. We rebooked for 11.30, so hopefully we'll be able to get on that. So we're just walking around, enjoying this beautiful park, which is a delight.
Okay, it's the moment of truth. Time for Voltron. Estaba bien, ya. Yeah. Ah, Qué sí. guay. <ríe> es mucho, ¿eh? Es muy mucho. <ríe> Okay, just got off of Voltron. We were able to do it two times. Once in the second row, once in the last row. I did it once in the middle, or yeah, once in like a center seat, and once on the, the wing seat on the outside. Really fun ride. I will say the last row on the outside did vibrate a whole bunch. Cut for sound. It's everywhere. Anyways, it did vibrate a little bit on the on the outside seat and I didn't enjoy it as much, but the inside in the second row was really good. Man, it's just crazy. It's like so much roller coaster. I'm not a huge fan sometimes of like the little pops. RMC does it. It's kind of like a trend right now. So there's a couple of points on this ride that does that that I don't love. I'm a way bigger fan of the giant like ejector hills. And then the stall is amazing. You really are out of your seat for like a really long time. So it was a really wonderful ride. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do it again. I'm hoping for a front seat row because I think that that would be really cool. But yeah, I mean, this is an incredible addition. So we need to do, get the credits. We're gonna do the power coaster that burned down here in Austria. It's gonna be white when I don't know. Yeah. bad um you know fun little family ride and uh it's got like this nice section back here that burned down and they just rebuilt this it's all outside now but it looks like they've got some paths that you can walk around so we're gonna kind of explore it a little bit but it looks it looks great We got a virtual line or whatever it's called for Woden. So we're heading over to do that now, right after eating. So that's gonna be nice to shake up all that food. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's super intense. 
No, 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 o sea, como sí, pero es que esos vagones son tan buenos sí. que no, no duele. Oh my god, Woden, so intense, so much fun. It's really, really, really hot out today, so it was flying, so that was awesome. Oh. Selon la légende, le tigre de feu est caché dans un temple au cœur de la jungle. Okay, so we did the pirate ride and we've been walking around and trying to cool down. It's so hot right now. So we're at this lovely place right next to Switzerland, bobsled. This is a great place to just hang out and chill for a little bit. Pirate ride is so much fun. It's like nice and long. There's so much to look at so you can ride it multiple times. We've been on it three times already. It's just so relaxing and nice. So anyways, that was wonderful. And now we're just uh, trying to get some more strength and energy and then we're gonna go over and do one final Voltron, I think, if we can get on it, hopefully. Ese último trozo es un poco machaque. Ya. Yeah. No, pero la primera mitad genial me ha encantado. Wow. Okay, we just got off of Voltron. We waited like about an hour for it and we ended up being in the last row again. We were on the outside seat. I was on the outside seat, which is really cool. There's a couple elements when you're coming out of the element that you get this crazy airtime on the outside seat in the back row. But the second half is like just a little too intense for me. It shakes, it gives you like some, a little bit of whiplash. So I have a little bit of a headache now. Also, I mean, I'm just sweating like crazy. The sun is so intense, it's so hot, but anyway, Really, really fun ride, I still love it. And yeah, it's been an amazing day. We've done so much more than I thought we were gonna do. It's just been super fun. You know, just even being in the park and walking around is great. So I'm so happy to be back. And uh, yeah, Rulantica was great. This has been great. It's been a wonderful time. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. Uh -huh.